instrument mode is actually just a way to play the instrument with more control. And so there are two different modes, again, kind of judged by this drop down trigger mode on and off. So by default, it's off. And the way this is going to behave is you'll see this is called a fretboard. And these are key switches. So on a real guitar, the fretboard does not play sounds. That's where you input your chords, but you won't get a sound from it. So it's the same premise here. So if you're playing a C major, I don't get any sound there. As soon as I strum, I'll open this, this overview here. You'll see the key switches from C2 and on. That's these. These are the basically the strings of the guitar. So if I'm holding a chord, um, and then you've got a couple of different things, like if you're playing notes, you've got a release. So if I hit release, it kind of cuts off everything like a guitarist would. So it doesn't ring out if you don't want some messy tails in the production. Um, and then down here, you've got upstroke and downstroke. So if you're so if you don't want to pick everything, and you want to just stroke everything, um, that's right here. So if I want the whole chord to play. So that's a really cool way to do that. And then up here, there's a strum auto way at the top here. They're all labeled. But strum auto is kind of doing that for me, so I don't really have to be clicking two keys all the time. Um, these two are mostly useful because you can specify if I only want downstrokes. Like that, and then that's kind of helpful.